Hi, welcome to the Professional Academy of Clinical Thermology. This will be a case study on breast thermography, CW2012. This image was taken in July of uh, 2012, 2012, and you can see in the grayscale patterns uh, the outline of the breast cancer that was underlying. Um, and then, of course, in the red uh, rainbow scale, you can see the same. Only about six months later, uh, you can see the difference on how fast this tumor grew, and you can see the thermal impression as well. Note that you have the um, leading edge of the tumor that's become necrotic uh, with the leading edge that is um, hot. Okay, so the hot margin right here, I'll show it to you in white. Okay, you can see that, and then how it's come all the way into the mediastinum in that area. This here is an isotherm. View. This is the grayscale imaging. They all have different reasons for being. Okay, so this was uh, six months later. This was April of that same year, so from January. That was three months after that last picture that I showed you. And you can see again how necrotic this tissue has become, but yet the leading edge in the white right there, the super hot, is uh, at the leading edge of that tumor. So even though the tumor has become necrotic, it's not letting up at this point. This is actually what the tumor looks like on the outside. You can see the retracted nipple here. Uh, there is the leading edge there, a little bit hotter. This is the necrotic tissue. This is one full year later from the, pre the original test, and you can see how uh, hot this leading edge of the tumor has become and how much hotter it's become on the inside into the mediastinum. The patient eventually opted for a mastectomy in September of 2013, which was one year and two months um, after the original testing that we did.